A different video today like i don't even think i'd ever make this video i'm being so honest like i never thought i would sit here and make a video about me saying i've given my life to christ like not saying that like, i'm too good or something i'm just saying it like i never thought that would happen no not that i didn't think it would happen like i just didn't think i can't describe it but you get what i'm saying like i just didn't think it would like not happen because of course i knew it was gonna eventually happen but i didn't think it was gonna no yeah just me sitting here on youtube talking about this do you get what i'm saying put it that way that's a better way to put it like i knew it was gonna happen but i didn't know i was gonna sit here on youtube and talk about it do you get what i'm saying like guys i don't even i don't even know where to start with a video like this because i've never done this before or i've never spoke about something like this before but one thing i did do or made sure i didn't do is look at other videos on the internet because everyone has their own opinions and views and da 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 in it i'm not scared to say my view or whatever but i'm saying i didn't look on youtube and that to try say what they say because that's fake so i want to say what i think and what i've learned do you get what i'm saying like if i sat here and just said oh the same thing as another video because i thought everyone liked what they said then that's not me being real do you get what i'm saying that makes sense in it but yeah anyways i don't even know where to start but I've always been like believing in God. I used to do, I used to go to church and so on, but then I stopped for ages. And the only reason I stopped going on Sundays was simply because of tournaments, because I played tennis in it. So yeah, and training. And then I used to have in my head, oh, I can't miss training. I can't do this. I need to make sure I'm going. Not I don't want to go to church. I just, oh, I need to make sure I'm training. If I'm sitting in church, what am I getting out of it? I need to be at training. Do you get what I'm saying? But that's not the case, man. Yeah. So like, fam, yeah, apart from that, me not going, I still prayed all the time. I still believe in God. I still looked at this and looked at that. Like all the time, I never stopped in it. But then there was a point when I was at, like, say 2019 times, 2020, 2019, 2018 times, where like, not I got like annoyed with it, but it was a bit annoying. Because you see when you're walking down the road and the people from church stop you. Yeah, if, if you live in like around South or where, it probably happens everywhere. They stop you, younger people, and they talk. But the way they talk, yeah, is like, if you don't agree with what they say, or how they believe, then you're a stupid idiot. Do you get what I'm saying? So then I, there was one point where I was like, I forget, I, can't, I don't want to hear it because these guys are walking around making it seem like you're dumb if you don't um, believe in what they believe in. And when I say what they believe in, I mean as in their own beliefs. Like, for example, say, okay, yeah, there was one time he this person came up to me and was like, oh, um, are you perfect? He asked me, am I perfect? I said, no, no one's perfect. Yeah, because that's the, that's the case. No one's perfect apart from God. Yeah, I can't. And um, he turned around and started arguing with me, basically saying, you're wrong. I'm perfect because I believe in God and I go to church and da 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 So I'm perfect. I don't do nothing wrong. Obviously, at the time, I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, fair enough. I didn't say anything, in it Because I was thinking like, fam, is this guy all right? But when I look back at it, like, what? What? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, what? And yeah, it's just stuff like that. So when I used to see these people on the road and I knew they was coming to me, I would turn the other way. Or there was just stuff like that, I would avoid it. If I saw this, I would just avoid Because I still used to pray and everything, believe in God. But then, fam, if I saw these kind of people and that, I'd be like, forget it, like, I'm cutting. Me and my brother could be walking down the road. I'll see them, I'd be like, I'm changing direction. I don't want to talk to them. Because they, they, like, I remember one time, another guy came up, this was a few, this was a group of them. They came up to me and asked, do you go to church? And I said, no because at the time I didn't. They turned around and said, oh, well, you're going to go to hell. Fair enough. They couldn't be wrong or whatever, but it's the way they said it without me knowing anything at the time. They was like, oh, you're going to go to hell. You're not a good person. And I just stood there and was like, oh, 
that, oh. Yeah, I just agreed with them again. I was like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. But you don't go around telling people that. Even if it's calm, say it's the case, yeah? You should never go around telling someone you're going to go to hell. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's wrong. Guys, by no means, yeah, I forgot to even say I'm no expert or um, been in it for years and years. No, I'm literally a fresh beginner. I might put it in the title, give my life to Christ as a beginner. So you guys know that whatever I say, just take it lightly. Don't come and take it like, oh, he's, he's a weirdo. Like, why does he believe that? Because there's literally so much more I have to learn. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, even in the comments, guys, if you, if you think this or that, just tell me, like, and I'll see whatever you guys say, because... I have my beliefs, I have, you have your beliefs, do you get what I'm saying? Come, before I even say like how, how can I put it, how, like, how it is for me now, I'm gonna say how I actually say, why I'm saying I gave my life to Christ. Come, so on, so for the whole of October, December and November, I was going to church consistently. And then I was like, they do, they do like a bit in the service where they say, oh, if you're ready to give your life, come up and we'll pray. And then you, you, your life is in Christ and so on. Yeah, and how you live is in Christ now and so on. But um, I just held it out. I was like, no, let me not go up yet because I need to understand I even told my friend, I want to go up, but I'm not going to go if I don't get it. Because I'm not just going to go up and say I've done it, but I don't get it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I was not, uh, yeah, I wasn't ready, basically. Like, yeah, I was going to church and so on. And you can, you could turn around and say you're, you're, you're always ready. There's never going to be a, a right time to do it. But I just didn't feel ready as in, like, not I didn't care enough, but I just didn't get it enough. Like, I was going, but I just didn't get it. So I was like, what's the point of doing that? If you, you've done something big like that, but you literally don't get what you're doing. Like, you just done it for the sake of doing it. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was like, calm, let me wait. Let me just wait it out. Then, um, this New Year's came, New Year's Eve came, 31st December, in church again for the crossover into the new year. And then they they came, they said it again, oh, if you're ready to come up to give your life in front of everyone, I should have recorded it. But yeah, they said, if you're ready to come up, um, come up now and we're going to pray for you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then at first I was sitting down because I was like, I want to go, but there was bare people. I was shook in it. So I was like, nah, let me, let me just, let me chill. I want to go. I was like, I was on my seat like, yeah, let me go, man. But I'm not gonna lie, I was shook in it. Then my friend's mum came like to the side of my road that I was sitting on. I was like, come. So I was like, All right, let me just get off and go. So now I, go, I went in it. I was happy that I actually she told me to come because I, I don't think I would have went if she didn't say come. So maybe that was a sign in it. It's a new year and you're ready. So come. I went up now and then I don't know. I don't know what they're called. The prayer people. I think they're called the prayer people. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. But the prayer people held my hand, said he, he told me he's going to say a prayer over me. Then I'm going to repeat what the pastor was saying. I mean, the preacher was saying. And then, yeah, we did it. Everyone started clapping. Bare people up there. And I was like, yes. It's time. Normally when people's up there, sometimes they're crying and upsetting it. I, but when he when they was praying and I was there with my eyes closed, I was saying like, come on, like I'm ready, like I'm motivated, I'm ready to do it. Like I was like, come on, quietly. I know the guy standing next to me probably thinking, what's this guy on? Why is he saying come on? Like I was like, come on, let's go, come on. I was nodding my head like yes. Yes. He probably thought like fam, like what? I'm joking, he didn't think that. But yeah, that's what I was doing. Then they finished the prayer, clapped. Then I went to some room, spoke about something. Um, what did we speak about? Oh, just some Zoom thing in the future. And then, yeah, I'm here today, blood. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? Yeah, guys, that's what happened. I went up, he, they said do it, and I was ready. So the 1st of January came and I officially gave my life to Christ and I understood what it meant more. And now we're here, 26th of January, trying to be as consistent as possible with reading the Bible, praying, and yeah. But now let me talk about what I've learned because I don't want to make this video ages because I could sit here and just waffle and chat, but I want to just say why you should do it as well. Do you get what I'm saying? Or you should even start going to church, like, but let me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because I'm shouting. I don't know why I'm shouting. But let me tell you why. Okay, calm. So, the biggest thing I've learned as a beginner. I'm going to always say as a beginner because I want you guys to know that. I'm still new, yeah. But yeah, as a beginner, like when you're when you're talking about stuff or reading stuff, looking at stuff, you don't realize what you're looking at unless you're um in touch with Christ. If you're not, you will look at it and think nothing of it. But when you look, if you then if you was to look at it in the future and you're like, oh wait a sec, that was like what the hell? Why am I looking at that? Or say you was doing this or doing that, yeah. And at the time you're like, oh yeah, this is calm, this is good, whatever. But then when you look back at it, you're like, bro, that was nuts, like what the hell was I thinking? Do you get what I'm saying? That's the first. Thing. And a lot of the time, for me, it's just more the things I watch and listen to and so on. Cause I don't go out like that. Innit? It's more the things I watch and so on. I'm like, when now when I'm looking at the stuff, I'm not talking about mad things. Innit? I'm talking about 
I, when I am I, calm, I'm talking about stuff on Twitter where you see like guys' fingers getting chopped off or someone losing their head or something crazy like that. Not adult stuff, cause I don't look at that stuff. I'm talking about um yeah that stuff like just cr ex like just gory crazy things. Calm and even 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 adult stuff on Twitter and stuff like that. Like you see it, but at the time you would look at it and be like oh or like laugh at it or send it to your friend like look at this. But then now when you're looking well when I see it I skip it because it's like you know if you if you're reading the Bible you know you shouldn't be looking at foolishness like that. You I'm saying even people I literally used to not used to because I still see it sometimes I might skip it or look at it I used to I would see things like this guy getting robbed he turns around pulls out a gun bap, 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 in the guy's head and I'm thinking fam should I really be sitting here looking at it? Do, you, do you get what I'm saying like it says um avoid things like if you know that you're not meant to be looking at it or doing it whatever avoid it like don't come and sit here and look at it and it makes you lead on to something else and something else and something else if you get distracted by listening to music and you feel like it's going to make you go and do a mad thing stop listening to music do you get what i'm saying if you if it doesn't make you do a mad thing then if you want to listen to it you can listen to it do you get what i'm saying all right i think i think the one most important thing is timing like when i say timing i'm talking about like worrying and just god's timing in general because i feel like a lot of people say say they work hard in the gym or with this thing and they're trying to save to go on this whatever yeah but it doesn't work out and they're angry that it's not working out like say they was in the gym and they're like why is my body not changing or why don't i have more money like i've been trying do you get what i'm saying but then when you turn around and if you are in christ and you read the bible and stuff it's god's timing like if it's not meant to be it won't be just keep mashing the work and it will come when he's ready to give it to you do you get what i'm saying but if you sit there and you're like why is this not happening why da, 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 and you can't and you you don't know the answer because you're not in Christ. Um, you're gonna look at it and be like, "Oh, I'm dead," or "I'm gonna stop doing this because this ain't working out." That's why a lot of people give up, you know, because it's like they don't get it. Like, just keep working. And when it does come, it's not, oh yeah, it was meant to come. It's a blessing. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't turn around and look at it like, oh yeah, I've been doing this for 10 years. It was eventually going to happen. No, because if God didn't want to give it to you, it couldn't have happened. So it was his timing. Do you get what I'm saying? So a lot of things you do in general, you should look at it like it's God's timing. Do you get it? Like, I think, I think a really big thing is like people, like you lose hope really quickly when you don't see it working out. But again, it's like, it's God's timing. You just have to keep working and it will come. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, obviously, yes, it's not as easy to just go and do it as I'm seeing it if you if you don't do stuff like that but when you look at it it is literally that say say you do youtube for example yeah and you want to hit 100k in a year yeah and by october you're only on 70k yeah and you feel like you're not going to hit the 100k can't. and for the whole year you've been mashing work yeah and you didn't hit the 100k at the end of the year and you're angry oh i'm gonna stop for a bit i'm taking a break because look at all i did and i didn't even do what i needed to do can't don't you can't look at it like that if you don't lose hope and it happens in the future or even when it doesn't happen look at it like okay it wasn't my time yet when is my time he's gonna give it to me do you get what i'm saying like don't sit there and be like oh um this is just going bad i'm gonna stop doing this because it's not working like you can't lose hope because it's god's timing if it's not meant to happen it's not meant to happen but by guys when i say that you have to match a disgusting amount of work on your your side because i promise you he would do his bit yeah if you do your bit if you don't do your bit you're on your own like you're dash not you're on your own dash your own like you can't really complain imagine if um i wanted to get ripped lose their weight and so on yeah and i'm praying and god's listening he's saying yeah it's coming bro don't worry obviously he's not gonna say bro yeah he said it's coming don't worry just keep working calm now on my side I'm sitting down eating McDonald's, not going to gym, not running, not training, not doing nothing. Then I turn around in six months time and be like, why am I the same? I've been praying now. Like, why is nothing changing? Like, why is all this happening? Fam, it's like, don't be that deluded. Like, come on, man. Be serious. Like, if it's his timing, he will give it to you if you put the work in as well. Do you get it? Be praying, reading, do, following the rules that you set and so on. Do you get what I'm saying? One thing I did realise though is a lot of people have different, like, views well not views like thoughts because what i've realized so far is that when you do give your life to christ it's what it's obviously there's laws and f commands and stuff you follow from the bible but then in general like um there's some stuff you can still do like people come and like lock themselves up and have no freedom because they feel like they can't do nothing like you can still do stuff just be careful with what you're doing do you get what i'm saying like there's, by any means it doesn't mean oh you can't do nothing just sit down and do this because you've given no it doesn't mean that you can still go and live your life not the same way a different way and still enjoy it but when people turn around and set so many rules and boundaries and they can't do this they can't do that then yeah you might have been living a mad thing before 
But if you wasn't, not a lot would change. Obviously, you're going to add things and take away things, but it doesn't mean change the whole big thing of your life. Do you get what I'm saying? You're going to add praying, reading, going to church and more. And you're going to take away maybe listening to music, doing this. When I say, I right, can't, when I say listening to music, I mean music as in if it's going to make you go out there and do foolishness, whether it's good, I mean, whether it's bad or explicit, whatever. If you know that that music is going to have an effect on you, then you don't listen to it. Calm. Stuff like that. If it's not, me personally, I could be wrong, innit? But I will still listen to it. Do you get it? I could listen to music and just enjoy the song. And yeah, I just enjoyed the song. It doesn't mean that, oh, because I listen to that song, I'm a bad person. Well, this is my opinion, innit? I could be wrong. But it doesn't mean um, I'm a bad person and I should never do that again because it's just crazy. No, like, if you know that you just listen to it to just listen to it and you're done, then you're done. Like, it doesn't... But if you listen to it and think something crazy and you start thinking stuff, then calm, that's different. Well, that's my opinion. You guys write your opinion because I could be completely wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care because I'm new. But do you get what I'm saying? Another thing I feel like is really important is you always feel motivated to do more. Like, calm, say I was praying to get more money and so on. And like, you're praying and you know he's going to do, he's going to listen to your prayers and he's going to help you. But you're more motivated to try harder. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's going to come. Wait, to me, that makes sense. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, calm, say I wanted to run a fast 20 minute fight k or 19 minute 5k i'm gonna train harder because i know he's gonna give it to me if i put in the work so you got what i'm saying that like, it's all there if you do it does that make sense don't lose hope be patient work hard and it will come do you get what i'm saying be disciplined as well and that's one thing i feel like a lot of people like slack on like discipline well when i when i say slack on i'm talking in terms of pure sport now but i'm not really relating this bit to christ because i'm i'm new in it so I, i'm not gonna come sit here and say this and that but a lot of people want change and want this change um don't want to look like this don't want to look like that but there's no discipline in them like they would happily after a week of training go and eat rubbish and be like oh i was serious for a week nah man discipline is doing it when you don't want to do it doing it when it's hard doing it when it's good doing it when your friends ain't doing it doing it by yourself upset angry happy no matter what you're still doing it do you get what i'm saying and that's the same way you should look at reading the bible and praying and going to the church you don't just do it when it's going well or you don't just pray when it's going bad you'd pray no matter what when it's good when it's bad when it's evil happy smiling friends i don't know any just do it all the time don't stop doing it because you feel like oh yeah my life is good so i don't need to do it no more nah man you do it because it's part of you it should you have to be disciplined enough to do it no matter what do you get what i'm saying all right calm yeah, since since I've been um like going to church and praying and reading the Bible and stuff more, you kind of do realize that uh, people that don't go to church, no, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say they look at things wrong, but you look, you would look at them and realize that some of the stuff they do, they don't realize that it's not good, but because they don't know that it's not good, they're just doing it. Does that make sense? Like, you could have people that lie all the time or something, but it's just sinning. Like, or you could have guys that look at adult stuff non-stop. But it's just sinning that to them it's oh yeah i've got needs and i need to do this with this girl i need to go and do this and that but when you really do look at it it's wrong like it's sinning do you get what i'm saying like you shouldn't do that or you got girls that are doing mad things on internet or for this amount of money and so on like it's wrong yeah you could people turn around and say oh but everyone has to do what they gotta do to get money but nah, man, when you look at that stuff, it's wrong. Even drinking and all of that, it's wrong. Like, you shouldn't be getting big time off your head drunk and just going nuts. It's wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I'm right, but I'm just giving my opinion. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you sit there and cuss me, you can cuss me because I don't care. But um, I'm just saying it like, like, I see it. Like, I see it a bit different now than before. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, calm, this is my Bible, isn't it? And I'd, I'll do it with my friend. We read and then we highlight. I follow so a highlighter code, but she don't like to, innit? But yeah, I follow a highlighter code. I just started like really studying it like this way. I used to read it, but I never really understood how to study it, but now I get it. Like the stuff I highlight and write down on the sides is what um, is right and wrong and how you should look at some situations when they're going bad and when they're going good. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah, that's how I do it. And yeah, man, like even this bit, yeah, it says, um, you are the light of the you are the light of a world, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Like stuff like that. Like if you have stuff about you, don't hide it, don't shy away from it, or neither do people buy buy a lamp or light a lamp and put it under a ball. Like he's basically saying, like, you don't hide. I'm only using this bit because I know how to explain it a little bit. He's basically saying whatever passion, not passion, whatever qualities you have about it, you don't go and hide it away to fit in or 
So what? Like, again, we like, really understand. You're the light of a town. Um, a bulb cannot be... I'm waffling. Wait, give me a second. All right, here. He's saying, yeah, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Like, if you've got stuff about you, don't hide it. And he's also... I've, I'm just going to keep repeating that because I don't know what else to say to that. But I understand it because I've wrote something down. And then he's also saying, um, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Like, if you've got if you've got good stuff about you, don't go and hide it because... You get, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just showing you small bits of how I do. I don't know why I said that bit and then um, yeah but before I was reading it like here and stuff and I was getting it but I just wasn't writing anything down like I've got one bit here with that but then I really started getting it here and so on and now yeah man and I do it with my friend and her cousin and we just grind it out fam but I'm gonna like this I'm trying to be as consistent as possible obviously yeah to you guys it looks like I've just done a little bit but to me this is a lot in it because um and I would but oh oh I nearly bent the paper but let me take you through this so you've got some things you can draw on, and colour, and then it says this. And then throughout the thing, there's just different um, parts that you can write on, and so on. Like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and my friend, she got me this book. Basically, you just read a page a day, and yeah, you just read a page a day, and it just it keeps you like stable and steady. Like, yeah, God's got me. Like, He's with me. Live by faith, test of faith, and so on. Like, when you're being tested, man, just go to the Bible and read. Do you get what I'm saying? Or read this each page a day, stuff like that. It actually helps. I feel like this is the most shortest water thing because because I could have went in much more detail in it. But I don't want to go into too much detail and say things that I don't really understand yet in it because I'm definitely going to make more videos about this. Do you get what I'm saying? But I hope you guys like this video. And this is just basically me saying I've given my life to Christ as a beginner and how it is for me. Like you feel... You have to just be consistent. And if I, fam, if I was you, do it because you do feel better. Like, you feel good. You don't feel like, not by yourself, but you feel like full, like calm. For me, example, I was consistent in gym, dedicated, moving. Like, I was doing good. Like, I've always been trying hard, working hard, whatever. But there was always something missing. Like, when I say something missing, I mean something missing as in, like, I just didn't feel full like when i'm playing matches on the court and stuff and i'm struggling and i'm here in my head thinking like what the hell is going on but now when i'm playing i'm like yes if i was meant to do that it would have happened if i was meant to win that match i would have won it obviously people can turn around and say that oh that's just an excuse for if you play bad or you're just losing no but it's the truth like when you put it before you play pray hopefully i play well go onto the court and match work try hard and so on but it's just being consistent with it you don't need to go around showing people that oh yeah i pray and i go to church and i do all of this because even me personally i wasn't going to make this video but then i was like to myself why not make the video because i want more people new people like beginners to get involved and go to church and push yourself to learn do you get what i'm saying but yeah man apart from that if you have any questions or want to know anything make sure that comment subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video about this yeah about this but in a bit